Did you know that most aluminum soda cans, like this one right here, have a plasticky liner that's sprayed on the interior of them during manufacturing to prevent the soda from attacking the aluminum? Let's see what that looks like. For our experiment, we're going to use a can of full Coca-Cola and to remove the aluminum exterior, some sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide will react with aluminum and dissolve it away into an aqueous solution. We're gonna start by making the sodium hydroxide solution, which is just made by using water and solid pellets of sodium hydroxide. As the sodium hydroxide dissolves, it releases quite a bit of heat. And once all the sodium hydroxide dissolves, we will add our can into the solution. And while that's dissolving, we can rough up the can a little bit, just try and remove some of the paint from the exterior. That just makes it easier for the aluminum to be attacked by the sodium hydroxide. to go into the aluminum bath. To do the experiment, we're just going to open it up because we don't want the pressure to cause that lining to burst because it's only a few microns thick. Spend it into the bath using a pencil. And it's causing the carbonation to come out of the soda and you can see bubbles of gas being produced around the perimeter of the aluminum can. That's bubbles of hydrogen gas. Add a little bit more water just to make sure that we get all of that can dissolved. It's about 30 minutes for that reaction to completely dissolve away all of the aluminum that is on the exterior of the can. We're about to head into the lab. It's been about an hour. Let's see what the reaction looks like. What? Okay, I'm going to pull up the can slowly. Check it out. That is crazy. Top's still reacting a little bit. That is just insane. Interesting enough, the bottom always takes longer to react, and that's because those bubbles of hydrogen gas, you can see a big one right there, get trapped, and that slows down the overall rate of the reaction of that aluminum in that particular region where it's concave like that. All right, so I've let the aluminum can sit in the sodium hydroxide solution overnight, and it looks like it must have developed a hole because most of the Coca-Cola has drained out, but you can see that plastic lining that's been sprayed on the inside is completely transparent and invisible, and the top is still present. Notice the bottom has completely reacted at this point. This experiment was totally worth it. I'm super excited to announce that I've partnered with Varsity Tutors through their virtual summer camp program to offer two free chemistry classes this summer. You can sign up using the link in my description. Come join me and let's learn something together. Our first class is July 2nd and it's on the chemistry of fireworks and explosions.